I want to turn this board into a printed circuit board and build this etching machine to help with the fluid circulation. I will have the option to get rid of a bunch of wires and be able to customize my builds better if I have the tools to make quick prototype boards. And it seems fun. Here are some of the first results before I was satisfied and the etching machine takes up very little space on my desk. I'm still waiting for a 100 ohm potentiometer. While I wait for that I will use this 1k ohm potentiometer. So at the moment it's a bit of a struggle to get it to the precise speed that I want. I might release an update when it arrives. As power supply for the etching, this mini USB to TLL serial adapter module is used. I hooked it up to this circuit, connecting a toy car DC motor via the potentiometer and added a power switch. I designed and 3D printed the structure. This is the box where I will place the container for the etchant. And this frame is what will hold it together. I found a print in place hinge online that will hold the box in its place as it is lifted up and down by the motor. I used super glue to connect the parts and install the electronics in this little box on the side. I think it turned out alright and the functionality is decent considering the 1k ohm potentiometer. I've decided to use the toner transfer method without heat since it seemed to be a simple method that I can use that doesn't require many tools. I use steel wool on the copper board and get rid of the oxide layer. This takes a few minutes and then I clean it off with water and then clean it with some isopropanol. Which is what I also use before every print I make on my 3D printer to get rid of grease like fingerprints and oils. To transfer the design to the copper board I'm using magazine paper which is a little glossy. Can be found in most supermarkets. It's easier to print the design on the magazine paper if you first print it on a regular paper and then tape the magazine paper so it covers that spot. I get better result if I turn off toner saver, turn up darkness and use best quality on the laser printer settings. Then cut it out and make a little wrapping. I use masking tape. I'm filling about half of this uh, cap and then just pour it all over the paper. It is an acetone based nail polish remover. Then scrub it all over for a minute or two until I don't feel any more liquid under my fingers and starting to feel some friction. When it's dry I remove the wrapping and rinse it under water and just scrub the rest of the paper off with my fingers. This is how it turned out. I use a ferric chloride solution as etchant and I will check in at about 10 or 15 minutes. The plastic tweezers is kinda neat to pick up the board with. Once the board is done and all access copper is gone, I clean the board in water and use steel wool to remove the toner. Drill all the holes, solder all the components and cut it into the shape I want. Here I'm using a Dremel. Do you think it will work? I'm overall satisfied with the result and hopefully this new skill will come in handy in a future project. Thanks for watching.